And I learned very quickly on that phone call, Alex, that my lines of credit had been shut down and nobody had told me. And I had a great credit score. I had a six year running relationship uh, with this particular bank and banker. And now I've got no way to fund my deals. So You're listening to Flip Empire, the show committed to helping real estate entrepreneurs who want to build their empire without sacrificing their life. Your success and freedom starts now with your host, Alex Pardo. Tell your story about, you know, you kind of getting hit in the head and taking it on the gym with bank financing and all that. Yeah. So I didn't wake up one morning and say, hey, I'm going to go raise some private money. No, right. it was a huge blessing in disguise. So Alex, my guess is more than once in your life, you have had um, a time in your life or an experience in your life, whether it was personal, business, relationship, whatever, that while you were going through it, you were going, oh my lands, how in the world am I going to get out of this? And then when you came out on the other side, you looked back and it was actually a huge blessing in disguise. It's happened to us all the time, right? Right. A hundred percent. And um, of course, I think it happens to, us, happens to us all the time because God's involved in our life. So what happened? What happened? So I remember it, Alex, just like it was yesterday. It was January of 2009, January, 2009. So from 2003, when Carol Joe and I started this business, so we've been full-time in this since 2003, from, from 2003 to 2009, I relied on local banks and mortgage companies to fund our deals. I didn't know there was any other way. I mean, mm -hmm. back then I never heard of terms. I never heard of wholesaling. I never heard of buying subject to the existing note. And I for sure had never heard of private money. So I picked up my phone right here, this actual receiver. And uh, it was January, 2009. I called up my banker. I had two houses under contract. And those two houses were over a hundred thousand dollars in uh, anticipated profit. Okay. So I called him a banker and I had this conversation many times and I told him about the deals and the funding required and when I wanted and needed to close. And I learned very quickly on that phone call, Alex, that my lines of credit had been shut down and nobody had told me. And I had a great credit score. I had a six year running relationship uh, with this particular bank and banker. And now I've got no way to fund my deals. So I hung up the phone and, you know, in that experience, I, I coined uh, my, one of my own mantras, which That's says that. it's impossible to fail until you decide to quit. And oh, you know, fear of loss, lights a much bigger fire under my butt than hope of gain. And I'm getting ready to lose over a hundred thousand dollars, you know, in potential profit on these deals. So I sit for a moment here and I say, what, what am I going to do? So I called my buddy, Jeff, who was a real estate investor at the time in Greensboro, North Carolina, told him what had happened. He said, welcome to the club. They just cut me off last week at the local bank. I said, what are we going to do? So in that conversation, I learned about private money. I'd never heard of private money. And I don't mean I learned about hard money. All right. I, hard money and private money is not the same thing. In fact, they're right. apples, and, apples and oranges. So this is not institutional money. This is working with individuals. So I put my program on steroids, my private money program on steroids. And I put my teacher hat on and I started teaching people of people that I know what private <laughs> money is. None of them had ever heard of it. So in less than 90 days, I was able to raise and attract over $2 million in private money pledged. And you know what? I was able to close on those two deals. And since that time, I've never missed out on a deal for not having the funding. One big lesson I learned from that experience uh -huh. was the most dangerous number in any business is the number one. I had one lender. I had one banker that I was relying on funding all my deals. Yeah. And when that relationship went south and did not exist, like I'm like stuck in a corner, right? Yeah. So I don't have one lender today. Carol Joy and I have 46 
private lenders today. Yeah. So it's like, you know, we're like spreading, you know, spreading the risk. I mean, I can have a private lender call me up today or I can call up a private lender and say, hey, I got, I got the next deal for you to do and find out, well, they use that money for something else. No problem. I got right. 45, I got 45 others, right? One last thing before you go, if you have been listening to the show for a while and or you have been getting value from the show, I would be 100% honored if you would share this show with a friend or maybe share it with somebody that you think could benefit from this. It's my mission, it's my cause, it's my purpose through Flip Empire to impact and touch people's lives, to help people and in their businesses. So it would be an honor if you would be willing to share this episode. And uh, one last thing, make sure that you're subscribed so that you get notified every Monday and Thursday when shows get released. I look forward to connecting with you on the next one. Until then, have a great day.